Hello students, it is Miss Nemeth once again here to talk to you about four chord songs. So, when you are listening to pop music and when you are writing songs and things like that, most people use four chords. Now these chords can be in any key, so when we're singing that just means starting higher or lower, but when it comes to instruments that means we're using different fingerings or we're using different embouchure if it's a wind instrument, all sorts of stuff. So, the four chords that we typically deal with are C major, A minor, F major, and G major. You can fit so many different songs into that. There are three different types of functions that these four chords have, so they have three different names. So our first chord, C major, in this case, is the tonic. That's a fancy word for home. It's where we want to come back to and where we feel most comfortable. We would also call this the Do. The next is a predominant chord. So it's the building up. So it comes before the dominant, predominant. So our first predominant chord is A minor, which is based off of La. So it's the, technically the sixth chord. It's very fancy. The next predominant chord that we have is F major, which is based off of Fa, or our fourth chord. And then our last chord that we have is our G major chord, which is a dominant function. So we have the tonic, the predominant, and now the dominant. And it sounds like this. And it has lots of pull and tension because it really wants you to go back to that home chord. So if you play these chords in that order, You can play lots of different songs. If you have a ukulele at home and are interested in learning how to do other chord fingerings, don't worry, I'll be uploading that in uh, a little bit. And if you don't have a ukulele at home, remember that these chords apply to all instruments. If you have a keyboard, even if you have uh, a computer, you can absolutely write music without any instruments. It's one of the cool things that we are experiencing in the 21st century. It's very nice. So I hope that this has been a wonderful synopsis of four chords because we're going to be going into this in depth for the rest of the year. I hope you're having a wonderful day and until next time, bye bye.